What it do, everyday people, man? It's your boy PJ. Today we back with another lit video. We back in the confessional, and yes, we staying lit, big dog. Hey, shout out to my everyday people who rock with me every day, and shout out to my boy Lucky Wheels and Deals. He keeps it lit, man. Make sure y'all check out his channel. Make sure y'all use the link for the HiveMindLabs.com. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm working out. I'm eating right. Y'all gonna see a totally different PJ in a few months when y'all see this face slim down. You know what I'm saying? Y'all see this this stomach slim down because I don't be drinking like I used to. But anyway, let's get into it, man. I'm not finna hold you. Make sure y'all use the discount code Everyday PJ. Now, I guess we should address the elephant in the room. It's this damn hairline. Okay, me and Royalty got the same hairline. Okay. No, <laughs> that wasn't the that wasn't the elephant that I want to address. But y'all did y'all girl is out here looking like a, a iPhone screen with the little <laughs> like girl, your baby hairs ain't supposed to go that far down your head. Them others. Well, anyway, enough about royalty. Uh, we here to talk about Kamari twerking on a dance floor. Now, it's been so many people wanting me to say something about Kamari. What do you do about this? Uh, you ain't gonna speak on this? I said, well, to one person, the rest of them I just ignored. But one person, I responded, and I said this. I don't condone it. I don't condone the twerking on the flow. okay? And the reason why I don't is because I have daughters and I don't want them twerking on the floor. Okay? As with a lot of parents, don't want their kids twerking on the floor. But, and I also said, when the, mouse, when the cat is awake, the mouse will play. Meaning, when there's no real supervision, kids gonna do a lot of different things. And twerking is one of them. Knowing darn well if they, a lot of them wouldn't do it in front of their mamas. But of course, that's considered dancing these days because nobody really dances anymore. Like there's no, it's just, let me see what your booty can do. And that goes from mothers all the way down, okay? Even grandmas who are now, who used to be a freak neek. They are the ones who are the grandmas now, okay? Understand that your mama or your grandma was probably giving sloppy toppy at Freak Neek, and now she over here trying to be a wholesome Christian parent, trying to raise some good grandchildren, okay? This is a fact. Some of y'all grandmas was busting it open in Freak Neek, and now we over here judging Lil Kamari. I'm not. I don't really care. I ain't even, I'm not going to watch the video. And guess what? I'm not even going to show it. Okay? Now, I'm pretty sure her mama don't condone it. Okay? But, you know, as you see, um, I do be watching Nike's videos. And I do see her twerking that thing all over the floor. And I must say, I'm, I'm pretty amazed by her skills. Okay, <laughs> that thing be, ooh, let me stop, cause she's a, uh, she's in, in a relationship with Tavy. Okay, shout out to Tavy. All right, and then, uh, you know, also, let's talk about this. Let's talk about the parent that actually knew what this was. Now, had, had I read a, um, had I read a flyer that said kids' birthday juke party, I would have been thinking they were out there, you know, doing something like this. Not that, you know. I, I don't know what juke is. It's not Obviously, it's not a term that I use often. And actually, I can't even dance. So to think that I would even consider juking to be twerking, I mean, they could have just said a bounce that ass party. Yeah, they could have said, uh, if they would have said, this is a 9-9 nine, nine and 2000 party, I would have not let my daughter go because I know exactly what that is, okay? 
So if they would have said this is a pee popping party, I would have not let my daughter go because I know what that is. So I'm just being honest. Maybe some of y'all can relate. Maybe some of y'all can't. But, uh, you know, I'm not going to be questioning people's parenting skills. But all I'm saying is, what made you do it? I don't know. <laughs> you want little 14 year olds twerking all over your daughter? Even, you know, I'm not going to be judging nobody's daughter because, you know, so they choose who they want to love and we got to love them for that. And you got girls twerking all over her strap on. I don't know. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Uh, <laughs> Her strap on got hard. Look at that. What a 14 year old walking around with a strap on for? Like, you got a nine inch dildo in your pants, girl. What are you doing? Okay. So, anyway, back, basically, I was just saying, you know, and one thing I see about this whole situation is uh, people aren't bashing Kamari uh, because of what she's doing. But they are bashing Nike. And you know why they bashing Nike? Because of royalty. It has nothing to do with parenting. It's just, I hate royalty. I mean, I hate Nike. I love royalty. And anytime I see Nike or Kamari doing something, I'm going to tear them down. That's exactly what it is. It has nothing to do with nothing. You know? And we all do this. I do it sometimes because I don't care. I just be playing. But some of y'all act like y'all really got morals and values when y'all get into my comments, get on my Instagram, and make horrific comments about my children. So I don't want to hear you have any morals and values now. And believe me, check this out. I don't care if just one of y'all have immoral values. Y'all as a whole. I see y'all as a whole. The royalty nation. Okay, that's y'all as a whole. Okay, anybody who screams royalty nation and talks about a toddler and a baby, you have no morals and values. I don't care how many videos you make, how many comments you make, all of y'all are sick people. Okay, and that's a fact. And if that's the horse y'all want to die on, <laughs> and I ain't talking about Taggy Tanya's back. I'm, I'm talking about your immoral values of talking about kids in a manner that y'all do. Okay? And it, it, it don't even be funny. Y'all just be bashing and making people sad and talking about 11-year-olds like y'all ain't got no life. Makes no, makes no sense at all. But also, I just want to say, um, if I was gonna get on here and bash royalties kids about anything, actually, I didn't even bash Leon. I said, I just think he need to be in school. You know how many people that upset that I said he need to be in around his peers? They said, it's weird. You're talking about, hey, I talk about my sons all the time. I talked about my daughter when she was out of school, when they was during the pandemic. And then when they was able to go back to school, she was like, mm, I don't really want to go. I want to go uh, stay at home and do internet school. And I was like, what? So I don't just blame Leon, I blame my daughter too. So if y'all think I'm wrong for that, then whatever, but y'all, sit over here and bash an 11 year old and i haven't seen one of you not one of you jump under those comments and say anything about them bashing an 11 year old so do i believe any of y'all no i believe y'all have selective morals selective values selective hearing and i'm all y'all gonna hear this i know it because I'm going to make sure you hear it. But y'all need to take heed to what I say when I say y'all ain't shit. Y'all are not nothing. And to come at Nike, 
questioning her parenting skills when you got royalty over here, possibly with a serial killer. The man was killing animals. Name one serial killer that didn't kill animals as a kid. All I'm saying is, you want to question people's parenting, okay? When this woman took her kids to a fight, a whole fight. Well, I don't care how long ago it was, but y'all want to question Nike's parenting. You want to question CJ's parenting. Y'all don't know what she said to her daughter behind closed doors. But I'm pretty sure she didn't put a sound effect or that stupid ass laugh <coughs> when her daughter did something stupid. Okay. I'm pretty sure she didn't get online and say, you know what? Next time, beat up again. I'm pretty sure she didn't do that. So when y'all want to question Nike's parenting skills, you need to question your queen royal teeth. Okay? Y'all need to be questioning why her hairline is so far back. Okay? Y'all need to be questioning. It's a I was going to say something else, but I'm going to keep it easy because I'm just not, I'm just not, this, this is not the bash video, but the royal teeth is sagging a little bit. We need to get those tightened up. Okay. Time for some dentures. Cause when, when we start seeing them baby shark teeth, <laughs> girl, girl, girl. You're going to be looking like Krishan Rock. <laughs> Krishan Royalty. Look at that. <laughs> Charlene Rock. <laughs> anyway, everyday people, man, let me know what y'all think in the comment section about this whole mess. I've said what I've said. I said I don't condone it, but I'm not going to be bashing no kid over twerking when half of y'all's mamas was at the freak neek slob it on the knobbing like corn on the cobbin and backing that thing up for the 992000 so call call me what you want but y'all lying asses was out there too you little hussies everyday people man make sure you like comment subscribe i'm gonna holler at you later peace <laughs>